What's up guys and welcome to another Battlefield 3 commentary and I was sitting here today, uh, well tonight, and I was just thinking to myself, when was the last time I did a commentary? When was the last time I sat down, uh, did a commentary, and actually communicated with you guys? Because basically that's what my commentaries are, you know, or what they used to be when I used to do them a lot. Uh, there would always be communication with you guys and I'll talk about random stuff. And I want to get back into doing... Uh, the regular commentaries, uh, talking about random topics, um, how it used to be. But, uh, you know, things change. And, and, and I guess what has happened is that uh, I just kind of lost the mojo of it. And, you know, you run out of things to talk about, definitely. That's that's a huge issue. And uh, you just, you kind of, you kind of just stop after a while. And you, you, you move on to doing other things. And I, I moved on to, to doing live commentaries, gaming news, um, and, you know, Minecraft live commentaries. And... And other stuff, and then, you know, Battlefield 3 on the PS3, as I always like to say. People always ask me, by the way, if Battlefield 3 on the PS3 is so, you know, messed up to you. Because I experienced loads of input lag. Uh, I was able to reduce it with uh, the suggestions DICE gave out. Um, but it's still, it's a very, very crappy game on the PS3. There's lots of issues that, we're, that are plaguing PS3 players. And everybody always asks me, why don't I just switch to PC or to, to Xbox? And... I have this game on PC, I do, um, and I don't play it that much because I just don't like keyboard and mouse. Uh, I'm not used to it. I tried to get used to it before for months. You know, I, I haven't, I didn't just buy a gaming PC yesterday, and it's just something I'm not able to get used to. Uh, however, whenever I feel like it, I just play it. With, um, I play it on the PC for fun. Uh, as for the Xbox controller, I just don't feel that it's right. Uh, for for Battlefield, in my in my opinion, you know, for other people that's their preference, but I prefer the PS3 controller and the PS3 console. Um, that's just my preference, you know. Uh, I know you know console doesn't have as great of graphics as PC, but the graphics are alright, you know. And I don't need to have it so in detail that uh, you know it, it's it's crazy. But um, it, the graphics are fine on console for me. But um, I, I want to start getting into doing commentaries more, and that, that's that's just what I wanted to say for this little part. And now I'm gonna move on to what I really wanted to talk about uh, in this in this commentary, and that's this whole Battlefield 3 blackout thing that's going on. So for those of you guys who don't know, Battlefield, though, which is a a very respected, um, I definitely respect them, and I, lo I love their site. Uh, th their site that that's surrounded around the Battlefield community. They're basically a very respected site in the Battlefield uh, community. And they're going to be doing something called a Battlefield 3 Blackout. And basically, this is what they're going to be doing. They're going to give EA until March 2nd to announce the next major pack, uh, patch and the fixes that they have made or are currently making. And if EA doesn't do that, if they don't announce a next major patch, uh, the fixes that they made or some type of update, I guess... Uh, they're going to be doing a blackout for one day, 24 hours. No playing, no posting, no tweeting. Uh, they've stated, and I quote, Silence fed right back into the mouths of those who have chosen to give, in, to give us the very same silence. Uh, those are pretty strong words there. And, you know, a lot of people would look at that and they'll be like, Ah, you know, that's funny. They take gaming too seriously. But, you know, they, they're trying to make the experience better for, for everybody. And I, I think that, you know, I do support that. I support them uh, giving silence. And, and protesting because you know well some a lot of you guys out there I, I don't know if all of you guys but a, a good majority of you guys or maybe a good number of you guys I'll say I was trying to find the right words um, probably did not pay for the game you guys probably did not actually go and take sixty dollars out of your wallet or however much it cost you and pay for the game and the reason being is because you know you live with your you're, you're young you live with your parents they pay for, for for everything for you and i'm not saying oh my god you're 12 years old what are you doing go get an apartment i'm not saying that i'm just saying you you haven't experienced uh actually giving 60 dollars which which is actually a, a good amount of money you know it, it's not like if 60 dollars was just like pocket change to everyone then everyone will have a whole entire freaking library of video games but no people actually sell back video games so you know 60 dollars is a good amount of money so for the guys who actually did chuck out 60 dollars like me we want a an experience that we paid 60 dollars for and you know some people would just say why don't you just sell back the game we're not getting 60 dollars back so we're actually we're actually losing money 
and we're possibly potentially will be losing a better experience in the future if we just sell back the game for example I buy Battlefield 3 I'm like holy shit this is horse shit and I sell it back to GameStop two months later they patch all the issues and it's all fixed I just lost out because now I can't go back to GameStop and say hey you know what GameStop uh, I, wa I want to change my mind I, I sold this game back to you let me get it back and they're just gonna be like okay no they're not gonna do that you know they they're gonna say hey okay you want the game back here new copy sixty dollars and uh, you know I, I, w I don't like buying used games myself um, but y you ha you actually pay the sixty dollars and you feel the money going out of your pocket you want a good a good experience and um, I pointed out some things that I disagree with with the blackout and agree with and one of the things that I disagree with is how they well kind of not fully disagreeing but kind of on the on the fence here they stated no information oh by the way this is a quote directly from the from their site no information on patches until release date and no communication at all from the studio and developers on issues um, that's one of their complaints now I I do Battlefield 3 info videos you guys know that and if you watch my info videos you can obviously tell that there has been plenty of info and communication from Alan Kurtz and other DICE members on Twitter however not every person who plays Battlefield 3 and who goes on Battle Log is going to go searching through the Twitter feed of Alan Kurtz and, and other DICE members just to find out information. And I feel that that's where the lack of communication is. They should put, they should post publicly made updates on Battle Log all the time for the Battlefield 3 players. They should keep the Battlefield 3 players updated all the time on what's going on with the game the issues with the game how they're gonna fix it what they're doing to fix it if they can't fix it some suggestions to work around it until it, they figure out a way to fix it they should definitely do that and that's where I'm kind of like on the fence because uh, you know I get the info from Twitter but then again not everybody is gonna go on Twitter searching like uh, I do and and people like uh, MP first does uh, and you know that's that's just Twitter is not really organized you can't just like search and, and stuff but uh, they have Alan Kurtz and other members of DICE have given out some solid info and direct quotes and direct tweets and uh, for example when people asked about I have papers here by the way <laughs> I actually do work you know a lot of people think I just you know blow water out of my ass and, and it becomes a YouTube video uh, no it doesn't work like that um, let's see uh, oh when people asked about the SoFlam and, and other things there was direct quotes we are fixing the actual target laser Designator uh, Frederick Thylander talked about MCOM ribbons. MCOM defender and attack ribbons should be easier to get next patch. That's a direct quote, and direct info on next patch. However, like I said, not everybody's gonna go through Twitter and try to find these uh, quotes. Now, another thing that they said is that obviously there are some issues that are currently in the game that exist as problems because of the failure to. I don't, I don't know what this means but said problems whatever like USAS 12 with fragmentation rounds uh, the map elevators uh, input lag on PS3 and they also stated that that's all um, the the consequence of rushing out the game to compete with Modern Warfare 3 I agree 1000 goddamn percent on that uh, I feel that as EA just said you know what Let's go compete with Activision. And they got their head so far up their ass with competing with Activision that they forgot that they have a game to, to bring out as well. You know, they wanted to compete with Call of Duty, but yet this th their game comes out with all these issues. I, I don't get that. That's like, that's like getting into a race, right? You're like, oh shit, that guy has a nice car. I'm going to race that son of a bitch. And, uh, you know, he has a, he has a good looking car. He, he's advertising it. Uh, nobody has seen it in race yet, and you got to build this amazing car to go up against him. However, you're so focused on beating him, you forget to build that amazing car, and you bring this piece of shit, you know, Volkswagen or whatever to the to the line. I, I think I just made a horrible uh, um, analogy there because Germans are actually great at, at, at cars and, and whatnot. Um, but you bring this, this piece of shit car, and, um, you know, it doesn't even run. That's basically what they did with Battlefield 3. They, they try to compete with Modern Warfare 3. I'm not saying Modern Warfare 3 is a great piece of cake, you know. That's, uh, no, no, no. Um, but they try to compete with Modern Warfare 3, and it ended up failing. Both of the games, in my opinion. Because they both have loads of problems. And that's what they need to do. They need to stop, you know, they needed 
what that is too late now. They needed to stop focusing so much on beating the shit out of each other and focus more on just doing their own thing, you know? Uh, and I felt as though EA was pushing it more than Activision with, with the whole Modern Warfare 3 versus Battlefield 3 um, fiasco. Uh, but, you know, EA's whole let's beat the shit out of Modern Warfare 3's campaign actually did turn out to work for them because they sold like 10 million copies of Battlefield 3, which is like the most they've ever sold uh, in a short amount of time that they did. And uh, there, there are many issues in the game, and I agree with Battlefield on this, that should have been addressed a long time ago. There's issues on, on Battlefield that's been around since the beta. Let me clear, let me make that clear. There are issues in Battlefield 3 that have been around since the beta. What kind of shit is that, EA and DICE? Seriously, come on guys, squad issues? that have been around since fucking September it's a, it's going on to like it's it's definitely let's let's count the months cuz the beta came out in September September 27th or whatever so September 27th to October um 25th that's one month uh November 25th two months December 25th three months uh January 25th four months we're going on to the fifth month the fifth month and there are still issues that have been around since the beginning of the beta that's that's just mind-boggling right there so i think dice and ea uh both need to get their shit together um with with these issues you know input lag on ps3 and and the usas the mavs all this stuff uh squad issues they fix voice chat on ps3 which i give them kudos for that by the way and i give them kudos for not just you know saying we're gonna fix voice chat when the next big patch comes out instead they came out with a separate patch an individual patch because they noticed that voice chat is actually very very essential to uh the, the the ps3 guys thanks for noticing that by the way uh, you know better late than never what was that like five months oh, no four months into uh release but you know better late than ever and um patch dates are not set in stone uh with this whole we're gonna give electronic arts until friday march 2nd to announce the major patch and the fixes and everything that i'm kind of on the fence on with battlefield though as well because new fixes pop up new issues pop up that they want to try to address before the patch comes out and patch dates just aren't set in stone and and they move around a lot however i do agree that with battlefield though that they should be giving out updates to their um to the players out there because the players do deserve to be updated they pay for the game they pay for the product and they deserve to be updated on when this product is going to actually be a full product that it's supposed to be. Because the game, as many of you guys can agree, uh, wasn't released in full. It was basically shorthanded so that way they could compete with Modern Warfare 3. Now, another thing that they said that I agree 1 million percent with, Battlefield though. Um, here's a quote. They, uh, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of messed up there. Uh, here's a quote. Uh, Please, we beg you, allow us to communicate, get information, and answers from the game de developer. Not bullshit responses on Twitter from the at Battlefield account telling them to contact a game advisor. I agree 100% on that statement. The Battlefield Twitter account is basically a, a useless copy and paste account. No real info there. They just basically... Copy and paste the same answers to everybody. Oh, we're working on that. That's a known issue. We're working on that. Contact this guy. Contact that guy. We're working on that. Um, th there was a there was a there was a word that they that they love to use. I I have it on the papers here. Um, I'm I'm not sure if I still have it. It was a while ago. Uh, no, I don't think I have it. God damn it. Yeah, no, I don't have it. There was a word. Ah, ah, never mind. I got it on the top of my head. Um, aware. That's what they would tell everybody. If somebody was to say, hey, I just spotted this new glitch that not even DICE knows about. They would just, the Battlefield account would just say, we're aware of that. It's like, that was their favorite word, aware. That they're aware of everything. Um, but there's definitely issues in the game that they need to fix. And, and that Battlefield account needs to just stop. They need to stop. That's it. Th this whole copy and paste routine, uh, just giving everybody the same answer is bullshit. And uh, at the end of the day, I support you guys at Battlefield, though. I support you guys that don't revive me, bro, for doing this whole blackout thing. It needs to be done. Um, they need to realize that the players are pissed. There's a lot of pissed players out there. And some guys out there would just be saying that us, uh, us guys in this uh, Battlefield community who are participating in this Battlefield blackout are just taking it very seriously or too seriously. 
Um, and for those guys out there who, who think that we're just taking this too seriously, either join us or shut up. Because we're trying to make the game experience better for you. If you're not experiencing any of these issues, then you are one lucky son of a bitch. And just be appreciate that you're a one lucky son of a bitch. Um, and stop having the mindset of just saying, oh, well, I'm not experiencing these issues, so they don't exist. Because that that's just... I, I hear that all the time, especially when I talk about input lag. People just state that, oh, um, I'm not experiencing input lag, so I don't know what you're talking about. So that's like saying, I don't have HIV, so nobody else has HIV. It's pathetic. So basically, the bottom line of this commentary is just saying, I support the Battlefield blackout that Battlefield o has been uh, basically leading in this community. And um, I feel that as though DICE and EA should definitely work harder to making updates and, uh, you know, information about the patches and what's being done with the game public on battle log they should utilize that news section because the news section should definitely be about the news and all they've been talking about is bullshit which they should put a lot more effort into giving uh the battlefield players what they deserve which is updates on what's going to be fixed what's going to be changed and uh so on and so forth so I hope you guys enjoyed this Battlefield 3 commentary. Uh, it was a bit long, I know. Uh, I apologize if you guys don't like long commentaries. If not, then I don't know why you're still watching this. But uh, I'll definitely try to do some more commentaries, uh, not live, you know. Um, well, of course, I'm going to continue doing the live. What I meant was, like, more of these type of commentaries and bring up random topics, like the old me. Uh, it's just, you know, you run out of topics and then you, you kind of lose your mojo. And you actually sometimes forget how to do these things, uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Till next time, peace.